First, uh, you know, get a good identification. Make sure you know what you're dealing with. Uh, we can help there uh, by bringing specimens into the department. Uh, then it's it's sort of uh, going after the ants, um, and you can either do it yourself or call a pest control company. Either way, make sure you're using a bait, because as I mentioned earlier, with a bait, the ants pick it up and take it back to the queen and feed it to the queen and the larvae and everything else, everybody else in the colony, and, and so you get, you know, sort of really good control that way. Uh, you actually get rid of the colony. Whereas with a spray, all you're doing with a spray, you're killing the ones that happen to run into it, or you happen to spray. They die. They die too fast to take anything back to the colony uh, to kill the queen, essentially. And so you keep fighting them. You'll keep spraying and spraying and spraying. Uh, so it's much better to go out, find a bait. Uh, there's a number of good ones on the market. Uh, they're either usually a granular form or a gel form. I kind of prefer the gel form. Um, but the best thing to do is give it a try and see if it works. Uh, and you put the bait down there. Within minutes, they'll be around the bait if they like it. Uh, if they don't like it and they don't seem to be taking, you know, feeding on and taking away, then you want to switch to a different bait. Uh, try, you know, something a, a little different, a different brand or. Uh, a different formulation, you know, go from a gel to, a, to a, a granular. And always make sure if you're doing this inside, make sure it's registered for use inside a home.